Hi everyone, it's Leslie. Welcome back to my cross stitch channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I've um, purchased on eBay. I've purchased a lot of new kits and uh, there's like nine of them here and everything is on from eBay. And some of the kits are very, very old ones, like 10, 15, maybe even 20 years old. But as I said before, I'm, I'm going to be interested in shopping a lot of kits that are really really rare uh are hard to find the older ones the american ones that i like and here i have kits by dimensions bosilla dmc anchor and sunset and at the end of the video i'm going to be showing you uh, my trip to the history museum of sweden and then there there's exhibition a viking exhibition and there i i'll show you uh, what Vikings used to used to have like their jewelry, their weapons, and other artifacts. So this is going to be interesting. So stay tuned. Okay, let's begin. The first kit that I'm going to show you is a kit by Basila. And this is a house with a garden that I liked. The colors are not very, very bright. They're more like rusty colors, but I still like them. And this is a kit. Uh, was made in 1994 by Basila. And um, it is 14 by 11 inches. 14 count Ada fabric. Floss. Cotton floss. Instructions. Needle. As usual. I think this is made in US, not in China. I really don't like when the floss is like in a heap like this. It's so much easier and nicer to get it in a already pre-organized on an organizer. But I understand that the older kits usually are like that. So that's something to accept and cross stitch. So next kit is by Anchor. This is... um. The kit is not open, but it's a bit worn, like, but it's it hasn't been opened. These are very colorful deck chairs, and I really like them, and, the, and it seems like it's going to be very easy to cross stitch, but the, because there's like a lot of uh, colors, just a big chunk of just one color that you don't have to change, and I know that there are a couple of... Um, kits from this series and I really like to buy a kit from this series that is uh, like beach houses and this is from 2014 and the back here you see it's this kit contains anchor stranded cotton floss uh, this is 16 count blue and you see the floss here with the organizer and here's the description, Ada Fabric, 16 count, and the skill level is about 3 stars, so it's not that that bad. I think it's too easy, I think it's like should be 2 stars, in my opinion. It's almost like a beginner could do this, it's so easy, but I, but I like it because of the bright colors, and you people who follow me know that I like kits that have a lot of bright colors in them. Moving on, the next kit, but before I show you the next kit, I want to tell you a little bit about that um, some time ago, like last year, I bought this kit. This is by Riolis, and I like cross-stitching flowers, and I wanted to cross-stitch like big flower like this. And the problem here is that it's, you have to cross-stitch this using um, like acrylic woolen yarn floss and I tried it and I didn't like it it just no I just felt no no it's not for me I know that some people are allergic to this kind of floss I wasn't but I just didn't like cross stitching with it but I still wanted to have like big flowers to cross stitch so I found on eBay like an alternative this was by DMC, excuse me, 
This was a kit by DMC. This is a kit by DMC. A big rose. And here you have like um, the stem with some, maybe with some leaves and thorns. And I really, really liked it. And this is cross stitched. Um, well, this is 12 by 12 by 8 inches. And this is not very, this is moderate, not very advanced, not easy. Somewhere in between. And just look at the colors. Wow, they're gorgeous. And this is 16 count white Ada fabric. DMC floss, of course, it should be DMC floss. And it's already on our pre organized, on our organizer. And here you can see some instructions and what kit contains maybe not, not instructions sorry but the description this is what the chart looks like and some of the other kits that they made I don't like this flower at all and to moving on I bought one more kit that is a big flower to accompany this one and this is um, I don't know what this flower is called. If you know, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, also, kit by DMC, moderate, not very easy, not very, not very advanced. This is thirty by twenty centimeters, exactly the same um, size, and the floss is just gorgeous. Look at the purple here and the and the beautiful pinks. It's just gorgeous. I might buy this kit here if I find it on eBay. I don't know. I don't like this one. I don't like this one. But this one maybe. But I'm really happy that I purchased these two. It's like an alternative to the Riolis kits. Moving on, the next kit is by Sunset. This is a really old kit. Um, and this is so so charming this is like a victorian shelf with a lot of, a lot of antiques on it like um plates and a, a duck um portrait a frame and there's like this ivy here that i like and if i look really closely here it's gonna be very easy to cross stitch because it looks like there's no no coverage here at all just the flowers but you don't have to cross stitch with white there with white floss it's like empty space so probably i'm gonna have to i'm gonna cross stitch it it's not gonna take a lot of time for me to cross stitch it and this is 11 by 14 inches and this was made in 1991 so this is pretty old let's see on the back this is white ada fabric 14 count and the colors i like them they're not so bright but they're very pastel colors and the organizer is here this is probably made in usa this is not made in china next kit also by sunset and this is as you can see sunset here a vegetable sampler i really like them um there's a lot of different vegetables here, corn, egg, eggplant, cabbage, the usual stuff. And this is called Vegetable Sampler. This is 14 by 11 inches, and this was made in 1997. And on the back, the this is like, the color here is like coffee mocha color. Of the Anita fabric, 14 count, and the colors here, I mean, they're just gorgeous. The, the purple here, and the orange, and the yellow, it just pops out. So this is going to be so fun to cross-stitch. Next kit is by Dimensions. This is called Fe Feasting Frenzy. Uh, beautiful birds in different colors. And a birdhouse. And this is cross stitch on 18 count ivory cotton. Not my favorite. My favorite uh, Ada fabric is 14 and 16 count, but not uh, not 18. It's kind of it's kind of small. And this is made in China. 
Oh uh, yes, China and it's made in what, like, 2000, but it's still very old. And you can see here that usually if it's made in China, they use this kind of um, organizer, which I like. The only thing that I don't like here is the fabric that it's so, the count is so small. But otherwise, the, the birds are just beautiful and colorful. And you know me, I love color. Moving on. Next get Elsa's by Dimension, and it's also birds. These are parrots, tropical birds, and um, the kit itself doesn't look very big, doesn't look very complicated. Um, 7 by, by 14 inches, and this, is, this was made in 1992, and it's stitched on black Ada fabric. 18 count and just look at the colors they're gonna pop on the black black really makes these colors pop a lot the greens and the the reds and the pinks it's not very big it's it looks very very simple but i like it and the last kit this is also by dimensions this is like um it's called Listen to Your Heart. And this is going to be fun to make maybe next year for Easter, somewhere around Easter, maybe during the springtime. It's like eggs here, feathers, different um, flowers, and some kind of something that is written here. And this was made, let me just, this was made in 2001. And this is not made in China. This was made in U.S. And this has like um, ivory colored Hada fabric, 14 count. And the colors are more, they're not really bright. Maybe just these ones here are bright. But they're a bit, how should I say, maybe a bit rusty. But I still like them. And the organizer is here as well. Well, that was it. I'm just going to bring out all the kits here so you can vote and let me know in the comment section which kit you like the most and which kit you want me to start cross-stitching. Thank you for watching it, this video. Hope you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And before you, before you go, I'm just going to show you my trip to the History Museum in Sweden, in Stockholm, Sweden. And you'll see some of the relics from the Viking times. The Vikings that lived mostly in, uh, in Sweden. So I hope you enjoy. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And subscribe because there's lots more to come. There's lots more to come, a lot more videos. And I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. Bye-bye.